I took the liberty of going large. Do I look that desperate? No, but you have had a face on all week. Cheers. Do you like Faye? Be honest. Excuse me, ladies. Can I interest either of you two ravishing ladies in buying a raffle ticket? Not in a million years. Uh, um, <clears throat> what's the first prize? One night in our very romantic, deluxe, newly refurbished suite with dinner and breakfast thrown in. And what's the second prize? Two nights in a deluxe suite with dinner thrown in. <laughs> Actually, we're very proud of what we've done to the place, but I'm not begging. So what's she done now? Who? Faye! Like you've got an army of women giving you the runaround. That's why you don't like her. You think she's giving me the runaround. No, I don't, but you do. And I do like her. But if she doesn't respond to your text in ten minutes, you think it's all over. Oh, it's all very well for you smug marrieds, isn't it? Do you think I expected to be negotiating the dating game at this ripe old age? Is it any wonder I feel a little... What? Rusty? Oh, Mum, please tell me you didn't put that as your dating profile. What I mean is... We haven't done it yet. Done what? Oh, it. It. Right, well, have you hinted? I mean, why don't you ask him for a sleepover? It's ours. With Leo and April and you and Marlon, can you imagine? Well, then book somewhere romantic. But what if she's mortified? Well, if she is, you'll see it in her face. Well, thanks very much for the reassurance. Mum. Mum? Mum, I'm sorry, OK? I should never have made light. These things are difficult at any age. I mean, I was useless at dating. I just wish I had a bit more confidence. In my youth, I'd have leapt on her and thought about it later. Oh, OK. Nowadays, it's all analyse, analyse, analyse. Finally, you're going my way. Wow. Well, you don't give up, do you? Do you, uh, fancy coffee? I fancy something. It's all right, the pen. The beautiful ones. You're beautiful. Listen, I bought you some raffle tickets. I thought you could let fate make the first move. And then, if you win, you and fate can kick back in the B&B's luxury suite and let nature take its course. With the smell of fry-outs in the air and sulky Cathy stalking the <laughs> corridors, I think I'd rather be at ours. Whatever, Mum, just make it work. Go and knock her socks off. Give it my best shot. That's my girl. <laughs> oh, get yourself some new pants. You need some. Tell the whole village, why don't you?